Welcome back everybody. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this MPLS Layer 3 VPN section. In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our next topic, which is going to be configuring the route reflectors and the provider edge routers to support IPv6 or VPNv6 specifically inside of the MPLS core. So what we're going to be basically doing is configuring CSR4 and XRV10. We're going to be adding IPv6 support to the, the configuration and setting up the peerings to the PE routers so that they have the connectivity, the connectivity that they need in order to allow IPv6 route propagation and things like that. We already took care of the VRF aware support in the previous video, so if you haven't already checked that one out, please do so, where we also configure the IPv6 addressing. We're also going to go ahead and get all that uh, BGP goodness squared away, verify that the adjacencies are up and all that good stuff, and then go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to go do is we're going to start on CSR4, which is one of our route reflectors. We're going to just d double check the config, make sure that everything looks squared away and it looks good to go. So let's go ahead and go to global config, type in router BGP100, and type in address family VPN v uh, v6. Now it says IPv6 routing not enabled. So we'll type in IPv6 unicast routing router bgp100 address family vpn v6 unicast and then underneath here we're not going to configure an ipv6 peering from csr4 to any of the pe routers or from xrv10 to any of the pe routers we're going to use the ipv4 addressing space you see already done that's what we're going to go ahead and add to. We're just going to activate the adjacency underneath here to get all that squared away. So I'm just literally going to grab this line of config here and drop it down. So we're going to do that and we're going to wait for all those sessions to crash and then after a very short period of time we should start to see the adjacency start to come back up online. One already did so if we were to do show BGP VPN V6 unicast all summary, we're going to start to see that um, they will eventually start coming online, but you'll notice that it says no negotiation. That's because the other end has not turned that capability on. So we're going to start to see some of these guys, guys come back up, but we're going to have capability change is going to keep us down. So I'm going to go to uh, XRV10 as well. Go ahead and move that out of the way. XRV10. And the way we do this one is we first log in. If I could type in the, the correct password. Show run router BGP. And what we have to do is we have to create a another uh, address family for this group. So we have to create another AF group and then enable that group underneath the peerings themselves. So we're gonna go to global config, router BGP 100. AF group is going to be, we're gonna type a VPN v6 group. And we're gonna say address family, VPN v6 and unicast. And then we're going to just say route reflector client. Exit out of there. And then we're going to type in neighbor of 1.1.1.1, address family, VPN v6, unicast, and AF, or uh, use AF group. And then the name of the AF group is going to be VPN v6 group. And hit the enter key. We're going to do a quick show config. See that that uh, uh, has been applied. We're going to grab these two lines of config. I'm going to hit the up arrow a couple times to go and go to six and configure that and go do 32 and do that and then go to nine and do that. So if we do a quick show config, we can see that all this has been applied now. So we're going to go ahead and commit this config. If we look back at CSR4, we'll We'll notice that nothing, still nothing has happened because we have not negotiated the VPNv6 configuration on the CE side, or I'm sorry, the PE side. So my next step is to go to CSR1 and we do a show BGP VPNv6 unicast all summary. We have 
Oh, the adjacency just popped up. I just might be playing with me. So I'm gonna go to global config. Oh, it's up on, no, it's not. So uh, we have to go on this side here and we have to type in router BGP 100, address family VPN v6 unicast and type in um, 1.1.1. Or I should say neighbor of do show run section BGP. I can literally just take these lines of config right here and dump them in like so here and that's going to activate the adjacency and so we go back to four and hit the up arrow guess what now we're paired with router one so I'm going to do the same thing on six so I'll just grab the same config so if I go back to CSR one do show run section BGP if I go to underneath the address family here and just literally take this config right there and or if I do show history the same process would work if I was to go underneath the config and drop it in that would work so let's go to CSR 6 and router BGP 100 and then just dump in that config like that same thing with CSR 32 and dump the config in there oh it's not enabled yet so let me jump out of here real quick in IPv6 unicast routing. We don't have unicast routing set up quite yet, but we'll go ahead and just dump it in there. Do show run section BGP. Yeah, so now it should be squared away. And there it is. Um, and then we're gonna go to XRV9 and we have to just configure him to do his initial configurations as well. So we'll go to uh, uh, do show run router BGP and we have to go underneath the AF group here and do the same thing that we did on uh, XRB10. So router BGP 100 uh, AF group is going to be the name of it is going to be VPN v6 group and address family VPN v6 unicast and then we're going to say uh, we, we don't want to use a route reflector but we're just going to use that to turn the, the process on in case we do want to add features like next top self or any other features in the future so I'm going to go ahead and type in neighbor of 1.1.1.4 address family vpnv6 unicast use af group and then vpnv6 group and I'm going to hit the up arrow a few times to go to dot .10 show config we're just literally going to dump those lines of config in there show config real quick and commit the commit config and then we will have adjacencies pop up here momentarily and that's really it that's all we really need to focus on in order to get all this stuff up and running we jump out of global config we can see one is up and then 10 should be up here momentarily show bgp vpnv six unicast summary we have four is up 10 is not yet 10 might take a couple more seconds there it goes and there we have it so now we have all of the routers are configured with both IPv4 or in this case more specifically VPNv4 and VPNv6 peerings to the the route reflectors. The route reflectors have the appropriate peerings down. So if we go back to CSR4 and we look at this we have the peerings all up. So now I can go and go pardon the term buck wild and go knock out the other remaining uh, configurations and get all this stuff squared away. So pretty straightforward stuff, not too terribly complicated. It just, in, you need to know the order in which you need to do things and what's gonna happen when you do them. That's pretty much it. Until next time guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I'll catch you guys in the next video.